What's up guys, Sim here, and in this video, we kind of have a problem involving that thing right there. So as you guys know, we installed the engine, but we have a problem. I didn't notice this at first. I noticed the engine, yes, it's offset, which I was looking at a whole lot of different like engines and, and things like that in different cars, and in other A bodies and other darts as well. And I noticed in a lot of them it was offset, not as much as mine is, but the reason behind that could be because of it's a slant 6 K member. But then I noticed, you can see here, engine should be straight like this. It's kind of crooked like that, causing big, big problems when it comes to things like the drive shaft and stuff like that. Because if it's not all, the transmission isn't all perfectly lined up with the rear end, when I put the drive shaft in, it's going to be just breaking things, nothing's going to work right, and the car literally won't be able to drive. So, I wanted to ask you guys if you think it looks crooked, if it is crooked. I looked up underneath in the transmission, and you picture the transmissions like this. It was turned, and, oh, there's thunder. It was turned and kind of, kind of crooked like I couldn't tell from the naked eye if it was crooked I'm trying to get something like long enough that's sturdy that will act as a drive shaft so I can put it under the car and see if it is in fact crooked but if it is crooked because let's say from the looks of it just by looking at the engine and the engine bay I mean my dad said it and I was looking at it it does look a little crooked so I noticed down here and I can't remember the bolt holes oh my god We've had like three nice days. Actually, this past week's been beautiful outside. And all of a sudden, there's wasps and bees everywhere out here in the garage. It's so annoying. But you see the cam member on here. It's not a perfect circle on here. It's an oval. Making me think there's some adjustability. So could that be my problem? I know the engine's like this way is the problem. And the motor moves like this way. But could that be the problem? Could it be because there's rubber mounts on there could it be because it's a slant 6k member with a v8 according to schumacher motor mounts this should work perfectly fine i've seen other people with other cars with this k member get this engine in there i mean it's all over forms and stuff like that of guys using these motor mounts with this engine and this k member in this body so i don't see any reason why it shouldn't work but for whatever reason it isn't working sorry for all the noise in the background there's someone cutting the grass there's trains going by there's the wasp up there but yeah i mean i just i had a loss for words and the thing is i didn't i was gonna come out here and i was gonna put the water pump on put the alternator on put the starter on put the what everything else i was gonna do but like i didn't want to put it all on and then have to just take right back off because it was a tight fit getting it in as is and i don't want to put stuff like the water pump on and all that kind of stuff like water pump has a gasket for example and if that was on we wouldn't have got the engine in so that's why i haven't put it on i wanted to make this video and ask you guys first and also my stuff hasn't come in the mail yet i ordered a package from jegs and i got the piece for the carburetor the fuel piece i measured it figured out which piece that was got that in the mail but the valve covers and what else did I order? Oh, the fuel pump, that didn't come in either. I ordered the fuel pump, I'm gonna hook, set up the fuel pump, mount it where I want it, and then get measurements for the fuel line. I'm gonna do from the fuel cell up to the fuel pump, braided line, then from the fuel pump up until right back in here, right there, in the engine bay, just, I'm gonna follow the same path as the factory fuel line, run it up here hard line, then from the hard line right there, have it come up as a braided line. And I was thinking maybe not even have it go this far up, because I could end the braided, uh, the, uh, you can't, sorry, you can't see that well. Let me grab a flashlight. I was thinking of ending the hard line, oh, flashlight is dead. Ending the hard line somewhere like right back along the, oh, it's starting to rain right back along the firewall and having the fuel line just come like straight up, oh, you didn't see that, straight up over there and back here, because the piece is sits like this, I believe, so I'm hoping to just come out right from the back, but who knows, we'll just have to wait and see. But the main thing I really, like, you guys can probably just tell my voice, I'm not all super hyped up and as excited as I normally am, because if this is a problem, I'm screwed. I'm probably, like, I talked about changing the K-member. I found a K-member I should be able to get 
But the thing is, that's just so much more time and work, and that leaves so many more things to go wrong. So you look at all the bushings and things like that down here, they're all shot, all the nuts and bolts are frozen and rusted. And I was thinking, yeah, I need to change that, and I'm gonna change it, but for now I just wanna get the car out on the road, but at this rate, I'm completely rebuilding the entire car. But I know this is just something that happens, something that goes through. No, trust me, I'm not giving up. I'm not trying to come out of here saying, oh, I'm done with the car. I'm getting out of the car. No, I'm not getting out of the car. I'm not stopping working on this thing. I will keep it for as long as I live. And yeah, I just want to ask you guys about this. Do you have any advice for this problem with the engine being crooked? Because if it's crooked, the transmission is crooked. Not having the drive shaft be able to go in perfectly straight lining up with the rear end to the transmission or is that how it's supposed to be who knows for whatever weird reason maybe it's supposed to be like that and i'm just have nothing to worry about so that is all thank you guys so much for watching again i apologize i wasn't doing anything but like i don't want to come on here and put all that stuff on spend all the put all the gaskets and stuff on i have to just go out and buy new gaskets and things like that pull everything back off yes i do have parts like valve covers fuel pump just stuff didn't come in the mail i can't do anything about that it's just stuff didn't come in the mail we got the fuel piece but again i don't want to put the carburetor on and put that piece on and have to take it back off just risk having the uh intake be open that much more risking stuff falling down in the engine so yeah i i i don't have valve curves on that's kind of contradicts what i was just talking about but either way like i didn't want to go out do all this stuff and just take it back off because to find out i have to fix the alignment of the engine so oh and one all, all, other thing right when i'm done doing this video i'm going to get a haircut trust me guys i'll be back to normal next week so make sure you guys tune in next wednesday for another video of my car hopefully 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 you guys will give me some good feedback on the problems that i'm having right now and hopefully we'll get everything sorted out and we'll go back on track to getting this Thing running. So make sure you guys tune in next Wednesday for a video of that. And make sure you guys tune in this Friday for Street Race Talk episode 124, where we have some huge news. They have announced when season 11 of Street Outlaws will be aired. So make sure you guys tune in this Friday for all the news that will happen this week in street racing and make sure you guys please 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 leave comments down below i have look guys i'm at, i'm stuck i'm lost i don't know what to do i mean what do you guys think i should do do you know anything about this problem do you know if it's supposed to be like this if it's not supposed to be like this i'm lost i'm at a loss for words i don't know what to do i'm not giving up i want to get through this fight through this and get this car running but I need your guys' help. So please, please, please leave comments down below. I read absolutely all the comments from Platt just about all of them. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. I'll be posting updates and pictures of the car and things like that as I work on. I'll probably be also posting more pictures with questions about this problem I am having. So again, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SimABCXYZ signing out. Gotta go get a haircut. <laughs>